Alien Romulus just came out, and as lifelong Alien fans, Grayson and I are so excited mm -hmm. to talk about the good stuff and give you a review of Alien Romulus. So Alien Romulus, Grayson, is about a group of young teenagers okay. on a planet. Mm -hmm. Then, in, in an attempt to steal some stuff from a derelict space station, guess who they run into? Who? Aliens. Whoa! <laughs> it is uh, spectacular. Uh, Fetty Alvarez uh, came in, directed, picked up the reins from Ridley Scott. If you don't know, uh, Grace and I are huge fans of Fetty. He made uh, what is one of my favorite horror movies of all time, Evil Dead. Grayson, you got thoughts on that? Yeah, Evil Dead 2013 coming out and just kind of bringing back the franchise helped out a lot. And then after that, he went on and he did Don't Breathe, which is another amazing horror movie. And now he puts Alien Romulus in his list, which just cements him as just an amazing horror director so far. Yeah, so from the beginning, whenever the movie starts, it's, it's immediately like... Oh man, this is such a sequel to Alien One in every regard. You can tell that like Fetty loved Alien. He, he did. He did everything he could to to really bring that back. Yeah, every single scene of that movie, you can really tell that he grew up watching this film, and he was very, very detailed on everything that he could remember as he was growing up being a fan of the original as well. It was really cool to see all the little Easter eggs and stuff that were kind of laying around. Yeah, there are a lot of Easter eggs if you are a fan, so like, just be excited to keep an eye out at every frame for like little callbacks here and there. Um, and the production design was just insane. Uh, you're gonna love uh, how physical everything feels. Uh, if there there was there is CG, of course, because some of it would have been impossible. But like, when you you see real buttons and real computer screens and. Uh, uh, real chairs and stations and the hallways and uh, there's a couple of scenes in these big rooms and I'm like man I would have loved to go uh, to see what that sound stage was like when they were making it and the aliens just look phenomenal throughout the whole movie like they really put a lot of money into like the design of the aliens to make it look really really good and it's not just a ton of CGI like they're they're mainly practical in the movie and it's really cool yeah, no matter how many aliens are on screen or like what kind of alien it is, it's like you can really feel the presence. And I think it makes the all the actors who are, all of them are spectacular. They're all younger. Uh, so there's a little bit, I don't know, just felt like a little more stakes, I guess. Um, and their, uh, their motives are really sympathetic. So you feel like there's weight. It's not like, uh, it's not like resurrection or even aliens it's definitely not like alien 3 in that like uh these are all very uh, like down home characters that like you don't want to see anything bad happen to them so uh putting that kind of character in a setting where there's actual physical i don't know if it's puppets or guys in suits but it it, it escalated the danger to like the first time since you know aliens and aliens yeah it i think you know you you kind of hit the nail on the head and the reason why it feels that way is because it's it's up there's one of the most likable crews you'll see in any of the alien films like it's really close for me between this crew and aliens to see which one i like a little better yeah but it, it really makes you like getting your feels whenever stuff is happening to certain members of the crew because you get so attached to them throughout the film yeah and without spoilers i will say um what fetty does to really make the tension for each character and the entire situation up is he sets he sets like three different countdowns <laughs> in the movie like from the very beginning there's such a sense of urgency for the crew to achieve uh, what their goal is and uh, all the holdups there are because uh, there's this is going to happen when time runs out you're waiting on this to happen uh, sometime at the end of the movie and if this doesn't happen, then it's going to get real bad really soon. And he sets them early so that there's there's this sense of dread and urgency to what they're trying to achieve. And uh, I don't know, man. Just after, after Don't Breathe and Evil Dead and being such huge fans of those, like, I would, I would say that it wasn't quite the level of violence and terror that I thought it was going to be yeah. based on his pedigree. 
but it was definitely by every means a Fetty Alvarez alien movie. For sure. I I had gone in expecting my thoughts going into Romulus was it was going to be like Evil Dead 2013 with aliens as mm -hmm. far as like gore wise and just tone. Small cast. Yeah, small isolated cast. Isolated area. Yeah, and I, I really thought that's what it was going to be. And coming out, I mean, like Sean said, it, it does feel like an Alvarez film, but it it's it's definitely a lot. It's weird to say tamer. But it yeah. is, you know, in a good way, though. Like, it, it still feels, you still get the tension and everything you want, but it's not 2013 Evil Dead style. Yeah, I think that has to do with the fact that in 2013, there's obviously a lot of, like, self-harm with household objects. Yeah. And it being in science fiction kind of softens it up. But I think where Alvarez thrives is his use of goo, sound design. Um, and heat and temperature. Heat like, and temperature, yeah. Like that, he really went all out to, and there's reasons why. Yeah. But it's it's really cool on how he kind of adds that into it, and goes into more lore with the aliens as well, which was really cool too. Yeah, and we'll talk about that on our spoiler cast, which will be debuting tomorrow, which you mm -hmm. can check out here. But with uh, the environments, it's like everything felt very lived in. I think that's why Alien and Aliens is so amazing. Is that production design felt like there were people that inhabited those spaces. But yeah, man, I didn't really think about that until you said it, but the way he handles temperature, when it's hot, it's hot. When there is stuff that could harm you around, you're like, ugh. And then whenever it's cold, it's obviously really cold. Yeah. So, uh, it, just, just like the cabin in uh, Evil Dead 2013, the spaceship, uh, the Romulus, the station is is an awesome character. Yeah, it's its own. It's it's the cabin. Like it's it's so cool to be able to explore that whole ship, and see what's going on, see what happened before your crew shows up and just the story that you get from it. It just it's the main villain of the whole movie. It's awesome. Yeah, I think the presence of the aliens is great and like Grayson said, there are some lore things that are uh that are explored and um especially like with how the aliens uh, grow and become what they are. And uh, you should be very, very excited. It puts into context for the first time ever, like a real practical reason why the Xenomorphs are so important to Whalen yutani <laughs> For the first time, because you it hear, does. We've hear, we've heard for 50, 40 years, this is the most important organism ever. This is so important. They're so important. We have to get them. We have to send the Nostromo to get them. And finally, for the first time ever, you get the reason why the aliens are important. And let me tell you, it is a damn good reason. You find out the mission I know. <laughs> after all these years. <laughs> I know. Why did they say yeah. sleep for the thing? Yeah. And you finally, it is, it is spectacular. You should be so excited if you haven't watched the movie yet for those reasons. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to dive too deep into like what happens uh, in the third act, but just like Don't Breathe, just like Evil Dead, I I'm trying. I'm trying to think, but I I don't really know a director, writer, filmmaker like Fetty who can stick a third act landing. Yeah, as good as he can. And I think that everybody knows that the third act of an Alien film is red hot heat and um you know that is such like a, a big pet for me going in my thing was it's like can he stick the landing can he stick the landing like scott can stick the landing can he stick the landing like james cameron can stick the landing for so, me the answer is yes so that's what i was kind of looking at while i was watching it i went and saw it with sean of course and with as big as a fan as sean was the whole time i'm watching this film i'm thinking to myself did he nail the landing for sean like, is Sean enjoying this? I think he did. I I I think it's it's up there with one of his. Like you personally, veteran. you think? The yeah, idea. yeah. I, I I think it was awesome. But you know, walking out of the theater and then having Sean look over at me and just give me the oh yeah, yeah. It was it was a great. Thing. I said don't say anything because it's spoiler cast. Yeah. But like I said at the beginning of the video, he Fetty sets up two to three timers <laughs> for the movie to. For them to accomplish their mission before these things happen, and all of them converge at the same time <laughs> in the entire third act, 
There is no other way to say it, but it's batshit crazy. It is, it is, <laughs> it is crazy. It is psycho. Uh, and you know, I'm just watching with a big smile on my face, and I think uh, the way it all culminates, the performances, and again, the sense of urgency is just, it just hit. I think that it's an all timer for me personally. I thought it, I thought it was just about perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, the way it handles the xenomorphs, and uh, no spoilers here, but we all know that it ain't alien without a real good robot on board. And uh, I guess we kind of missed that a little bit earlier, but how about that robot? It's my favorite, of, <laughs> like legitimately out of every, and it, it, being a Bishop fan and then coming and seeing that movie, or coming and seeing this movie, it's, the, it is now my favorite of all the robots in any of the Alien series. He does a phenomenal job. Yeah, so Chelsea, uh, who I'd watched all the Aliens films with, every time there's a robot, she hates the robots because all the robots are assholes. And while we were watching the movie, Chelsea leans over to me, and Chelsea goes, oh, okay, they're going to make me love this one. Uh, <laughs> and and uh, I think that, uh, yeah, the robot in Alien... Uh, Romulus is just like a uh, mainstay, like one of my favorite characters ever. He's so yeah. cool, and I think you're gonna you're gonna love it a lot. Grayson, we don't have like a scoring system yet. No, we don't. And I, I was thinking about this as well. I think I like the five scale. I do too. I I think five is the best way to put it because it doesn't make it seem like it's too you know too big or too small. It's just it's like that like right spot. Five is perfect. Four is great. Three is fine. Two is bad. One is terrible. Yeah. Right. And I think you want to just lock in right now while we're recording. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's it. it. That's it. So that's it. Five is masterpiece. Four is definitely great. Three is fine. Two is bad probably don't watch it one is you stay away from it you're seeing this live this is live happening right here that's our scoring system we're, we're running with it um but uh all things considered remember you can catch the spoiler cast uh right here where grace and i break down the entire movie but spoiler free watching it all living up to the hype grayson what are you giving alien romulus i'm giving it a four i'm giving it a four i can't i can't put it <laughs> I can't put it at a five for me because Aliens is still like that's that is still the cream of the crop after watching this film to me. So I give it a four. I think it's a, an amazing movie. I give it a five. I love it. It's the best. But I also give it, you know, it it it, it is fun to think about like how a movie like Aliens could detriment another movie because mm -hmm. of how good it is. But for me, you know, Aliens is like, yeah, it's a five, but it's like, it's like an Indiana Jones Last Crusade five or yeah. like a Halloween yeah. one five. Yeah, for, for you. sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. And it's just, for me, whenever I was thinking about it on the, the way home, I was like, okay, where am I putting this in the, the Alien set of movies? And I was like, I do like this one more than Alien. Yes. And then I thought about Aliens and I'm like, I can't, I can't put this above it. Yeah, like, for sure. So it has to go a little bit below. But even by me saying a four, it's like 4.9. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, it's, it's still so four, yeah. four pretty, pretty. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> close, but it just doesn't top Aliens. Yeah, I got you. I got you. But I would say it's a five. I would say in my watch order, it's like, I'm always going to watch Aliens first. Mm -hmm. I think I would watch Romulus second. Then I would watch Resurrection. I was just about to say, I would, but I'm not going to forget about Resurrection yeah, either. Yeah. But I would watch it just because it's so easy to watch. Honestly, whatever I was thinking about, I was like, man, Resurrection almost took second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I'd watch Alien just because it's so slow and yeah. the actors underperform. And then I would forget Alien 3 exists. But uh, Alien Romulus is out now. Thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, again, the spoiler cast is coming. We're going to say that a whole lot. I can't wait to talk to Grayson about it. It's it's going to be pretty interesting to see what we liked and what we didn't like. And honestly, just kind of go back and forth on it. Because Sean and I haven't talked about this yet. So you're going to be seeing us kind of go back and forth with our favorite spots of the movie. Fresh. So make sure to come check that out. All right. This is Carnage Candy. Again, you can support Carnage Candy on patreon.com slash hangtime, which is our master Patreon. If you like content like this, you could have seen it early. So go over there, check out the tiers, and consider supporting the content if you like it. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Watch the spoiler cast. <laughs>